and we are live ladies and gentlemen welcome back to ACG where we're just a couple gamers it's your boy smooth and we are back with another dead godland video this content is sponsored by dev vision games and they have created an amazing game called dead godland where you are trapped on the archipelago uh, it's a connected connection of islands and you have to try and survive on this uh, floating rock and you are surrounded by zombies and tribes and uh, all types of different organized um, encampments uh, and, and they're all out to basically kill you um, or eat you so guys this uh, video here is going to I think for a lot of people um, not only just make the community happy but it's going to open their eyes as what's as to what's possible here on the channel so uh, give me just one second real quick so I can share the link here um, ah alpha alpha welcome my friend I'm very excited to bring you guys this um, again if you guys have not joined my official discord you guys just need to go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna put the link here for you guys so you guys can join the discord if you haven't um also guys uh if you guys haven't joined the official dead godland discord you definitely want to do that because they have this system in place and i've only seen it in one other discord where all you have to do is talk in their different chats and you will level up your profile so you have your own profile in the discord and your discord profile inside the dead godland discord um you can level it up so just at just simply talking here guys you can level up your discord account and as you're leveling up oh why did i do that why did i do that didn't mean to do that um yeah so as you're talking guys uh you're gonna level it up okay it's that simple Go put this in here and while you're leveling up your account every so many levels you level it up you get free stuff the developers will send it to you directly to your inbox okay yeah all you have to do is talk okay um, and and uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get lethal and her friends to try and implement that system in my discord that would be amazing uh, so something Okay, we're, we, are, we got confirmation that we can do something like that. Um, but it, it really is the most amazing system I've ever seen. I've seen so many players get sent so much free stuff just by talking here in the official Dead Godland Discord, okay? I'm going to show you really quick just so you guys know that I'm not bullshitting you at all. All right, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? check your level okay right here guys where it says check your level in the official dead godland discord if you click that once you get in there and you start talking and it tells you you leveled up go here right look at all this free stuff so at level 20 wait what what happened to the music by the way where's what what happened to that what Okay, anyway, sorry guys. Yeah, so at level 20, you uh, you immediately can get an AK-47 and a weapon repair kit sent to your account. At level 50, you get 10 disinfectant bandages, a hybrid assault rifle, one rip weapon repair kit. Level 70, you're getting an anti-tank gun weapon repair kit. At level 100, you're getting an SMG and a Jack the Ripper full set. I can tell you guys right now, if you add up all this stuff here, all this free stuff that you can get, just by talking in the freaking chat rooms, it's going to be like $50, $60, maybe $100. Um, I'm telling you, all of this stuff here, I know, okay? I play this game. You, All this stuff here is worth a lot of money, and all you have to do is talk. But anyways, guys, getting into the game here, let's check it out. Okay, so we have a new update right here. Um, they've added more levels to the storyline. And let me tell you, for a, a, a zombie survival game that's mobile, I don't know any other zombie survival games that have a storyline this deep. And I can tell you right now, because again, this is sponsored content, I talked to the developers, um, not only uh, are they committed to giving you tons of new updates all the time, these updates are storyline, this, this is like, they have to put a lot of time and effort into to implement the, the story into the code that they've already wrote, okay? So the, this is not simple stuff that they're putting into the game. This is 
a lot of money, okay, that, that, that in time they're putting into this game to give us more of a storyline. Um, I don't know what is going on. With, I will never listen to this playlist again. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and play it off the top, guys. All right. Uh, I, need, I need the chat, though. I need the chat here. Guys, where are you? Hold on, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to bring it up. My apologies. We need the chat. Give me the chat. Chat Mafia, if you guys kick it with me uh, to watch and watch me play survival games, um, zombie survival games, I'll tell you one thing right now, my friends. Um, you, you, you will have been blowing my mind. Okay, because uh, I, I would never expect you guys to sit here and watch me play a zombie survival game, Chat Mafia. But if you, if you do, I love you forever. Um, how do I do this? I'm trying to expand my game here. we go. Bow! Okay, so, all right, we got the live chat up here, guys. Um, so this right now, guys, is a giveaway. This is a giveaway stream. So as you can see here, not only are they giving you free stuff in in game, right? Um, just for talking here, but they're they've given me the ability to give away almost anything I want. So when I say this is sponsored content, guys, I'm not bullshitting you. Okay. Um, I have the ability to give away almost anything I want. If you guys want more proof, here's the proof here. Um, so the devs told me anything in the green on this list here, I can give away. Okay? And, and any of this, this is almost any item in the game. Um, I also have here, guys, I have the storyline. Okay? These are, all, these are all the missions in the game and as they as they add them uh, i'm gonna get an updated list here okay so if you're having a problem or a hard time trying to pass a certain uh mission or something i can guide you okay um but tonight tonight ladies and gentlemen we are we are giving away um 30 slot backpacks to three players i have already got confirmation from the moderator of the discord uh, there, we have three winners, so I'm gonna check it out here and see if I can uh, figure out who it was that won these backpacks. Where are we at? Where are we at? Giveaway. So we need the giveaway tab. Here we go. Giveaway. Okay, here, remember to react. We have three people here. Congratulations to Shash, Lazy, who is this? And S. So we got Lazy, Shash, and S. Congratulations. Uh, they got the 30 slot backpacks. If you guys don't know uh, what the 30 slot backpacks look like, I'm going to show you right now. All right, let me bring this down. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm really glad people are taking, away of the, uh, taking advantage of the giveaway tabs. All right, so here we have it. Let's find the 30 slot backpack. raids 30 slot backpack is it this one i think it's this one i think it's the road kit yep 30 cells all right so as you can see 15 dollar pack here guys the 30 slot backpack um is in the 15 dollar pack okay so this is a serious backpack I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is the biggest backpack in the game um so the fact that they're just giving it out uh give just giving it away i love these developers dev vision you guys are amazing and we really appreciate you supporting the channel over here at acg um so again guys if you guys are have not downloaded dead godland you are you are you're gonna make me lose my mind okay because this game is that good all right i'm gonna show you my base really quick um, I, I've, I have a lot of work to do, okay? I haven't put that much time into my base, so don't make fun of me when I get there and you see my shanty, okay? And lethal, unfortunately, guys, the, the, the multiplayer is not there yet. Um, 
but the way they're rolling out updates, and they, they always surprise the hell out of me. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, if, if we're going to see that sometime here in the near future. Um, so with that being said, Lethal hasn't come to my base yet to organize it. And so I have things everywhere, and I'm not used to that. All the other games, she was there to organize my base, uh, and, and now it's in disarray. Um, Johnny Fork in the Eye. Johnny Fork in the Eye. Uh, A says, uh, hey buddy, are you ready to go raiding and restore justice by taking loot from the AGI? You know what, man? You know what? Yeah! Yeah, we'll do a raid. Okay, forget about it. If you accept the offer, the coordinates of... Of your shelter may become known to potential robbers. Well, listen, you only live one time, my friend. So Johnny Fork in the eye, yeah, give me, give me the coordinates. Just kidding, psych, guys. Maybe next time. We don't have time for that. Okay, so we, so this is my house here. Okay, um, it's pretty upgraded. We, we do have uh, steel walls. All right, we got steel and brick and mortar and shit. Okay, but then. Then I was like, "Look, if we're gonna if, if we're gonna take this seriously, and this is gonna be sponsored content, then I have to have the biggest chest. I gotta have the biggest chest. My base has gotta be full steel. I got it, it, we gotta have the bit the bigger the better. All right, so let's go check it out. This looks like freaking Walmart. All right, my base looks like Walmart. Look at these aisles. Uh, clean up on aisle three. Clean up on aisle three. Hey Jimmy, get off your cell phone and go help Gladys bag up some groceries." the hell am i paying you for anyways look at all these aisles of chess dude right all right so yeah 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 uh this is uh mtv cribs zombie edition all right i'm about to take you guys to the other side of the the base here all right so remember we're on an island all right so i like scary shit um my favorite packs that they have uh done or released are all of the halloween packs right um huh um the, I, I like the halloween packs the halloween packs are my favorite because i like anything scary so if you go to the store here and you go to equipment unique armors they have the jason set so I was like, you know I gotta get the Jason set. And then they have the Jack the Ripper set. So the Jason set comes with, why is it? It comes with the full outfit, and then it's got the two cleavers and the ax. And then you got the Jack the Ripper set, which is equally sick, because this, this knife here, so tight. Dude, they have the sickest skins. Like, I don't even know where they get these skins from. Um, and then you've got, the football set, you got the Wastelander set. This shit is definitely straight up out of Mad Max. Dude, the battle passes in this game? The battle passes in this game, bro? It's like, okay, it, it does remind me of some type of Godfather in a way, the way they put the packs together, but then they give you this. They give you this. You, you get this battle pass, and they have stuff in here. You have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what's in these battle passes, okay? Um, last time they had, if you guys watch Squid Games, Squid Games is one of my favorite shows. Um, let me see. Okay, uh, what up, Xena? What's up, Xena? Um, so, if you guys watch Squid Games, you know those outfits that they wear, like the jumpsuits, um, that the, uh, the vault, the, the people that are in there the contestants wear and then you know the the really cool like stormtrooper um outfits with like the square and the circle and whatever on the on their masks and shit um they had both squid game outfits in the battle pass which you like it's like so i think a lot of people missed it i, don't, I think a lot of people didn't realize what it was and it's so crazy because it was almost identical and then they have like a lot of movie references and stuff. The developers, you can tell, are very young, and they're 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 up on all the cool shit that's going on in America. This is a rush, uh, I believe, a Russian company, um, or at least their their origins are from Russia. Right here, this is it right here. This is the Squid Games outfit, guys. Look at this mask with symbol, tier two. Yeah. 
It says great protection from bullets and shrapnel, right? Like that shit is sick, right? And then they have the the contestants outfit. Um, if, if you're lucky, you can find the full set. Um, it says zip sweat jacket, tier two, plain zip sweat jacket, great sound protection. I'm telling you, they have they have a huge sense of humor at Dev Vision. The fact that they put the guards from Squid Games and the contestant from Squid Games outfits in the game is fucking hilarious to me. All right, so then they have uh, added. Look at this shit, dude. This is uh, look. This is obvious. I'm, I do not hold me to this, okay? Because the, obviously there's copyright stuff, you know. But they obviously made it different. There, there is a way around it. But the fact that they're able to add stuff from movies and TV shows like Squid Games and this shit is exact, almost, almost exactly like the stormtroopers i mean not the stormtroopers the uh the brother the brotherhood from the game fallout this is like a fallout outfit right here okay this shit is sick um they they just added recently um these these electric weapons which remind me of the ones you make from um dead island which is one of my favorite zombie games ever um, they, they, they just added so much really cool stuff from so many other things that we know and love. Electric. Yeah, electric. Like, like you hit them, like they're like, they get electrocuted. It's pretty dope. Um, that they add, they snuck so much really cool stuff into this game, guys. Um, and then again, if you looked at what I just showed you, the Jason set, they also have the Jason set in here. So it's like this. You can do missions in this game and unlock all these levels here, okay? So what you do is, is you get the premium. We have to buy it here, right here, okay? Get premium. So for, for $7, $6.99, for $7, you unlock the battle pass, right? Okay, once you unlock it, then you just do your dailies every day and you unlock all this shit. So imagine... Imagine seven dollars. So essentially seven dollars, you get all this shit, right? You wouldn't even, if you joined the game right now and you you bought this battle pass and you just started doing missions. Within a few weeks, you wouldn't you you all of this shit would have to go to your inbox, literally, because you wouldn't have enough boxes in your base to store all of this stuff. Okay, yeah, so so Alpha, um, the only real difference um, between the paid version of the game and the free version of the game uh, is that on the paid version of the game, you get a repair table so that when your durability um, on your weapons and armors and stuff like that starts to go down, you can take it off, make sure, it's a number, one of the number one things in this game, when you st we have to pay attention to the durability on all of your weapons on armor and stuff, right? And when you see it start to get low, take it off. Because if you don't, it'll break and it's gone forever. So for the paid version, you get a repair table and you can put your low durability gear in the repair table. It'll repair it for you. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll fix the durability. Now, also, I believe if you die in a zone on the paid version, you have, I think, 30 minutes to go back and get all your stuff. Whereas, depending on what you're doing in the, the free version, if you die in a zone, you might lose everything. Now, um, everything on your, everything, yeah, you're gonna lose everything. Um, so, me personally, um, it just makes the game a little bit harder for me, which I like, personally, um, on the free version, but that's just my opinion. Now, uh, thank you for that, babe. Let me know. Um, there's also a lot of other things that, that go into this game. Now, again, I just wanted to put emphasis on how important this battle pass is, guys. Uh, it, I, this, it's priceless. This battle pass, all of this stuff in here, like I said, you will not have room for it all. Because they put furniture in here, they put armor in here, they put guns in here, they put bandages in here, resources for your base, special resources you can't get anywhere else, unique items uh, that, that you might never see again because this is season six. You, you might see 
a few items from the first few seasons in this battle pass, but for the most part, so, some of these unique items, you might never see them again. So it's like collectibles, right? Um, now, the, what I was trying to say earlier is this game is so new, and it's 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 still they're still adding things every not every day, but you, you know what I'm saying all the time, uh, it, 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 at least a couple times a month. So it's like you you want to get in on the game now because what if and this is a big what if they create a, a economy system where you can trade with other players now you might not be able to see them yet they don't have the multiplayer yet but they can still create this barter system or, or whatever some type of uh economy system black market system where if you have some unique piece of gear like let's say this squid game outfit and it doesn't come back it's on season six now but let's say you're on season 12 it doesn't come back and they have this system in place you have this outfit and you can all of a sudden now with this new barter system update, um, that that right there is you very unique. Maybe there's seven other players or something that still have this that because again it's all about durability, right? If these players are being stupid and they don't realize what they have, uh, a, a a one of one or some type shit outfit, you might be able to sell this for something. It, it might be worth to somebody else that loves Squid Games. It might be worth their entire base. They might be willing to give you every single bottle cap they have. You see what I'm saying? So you you want to hold on to everything in this game. And one thing I figured out, guys. Get the battle pass. Complete it. Hold on to everything. Everything. Because it might be a collectible item. It might be, um, it, it might be worth a ton of in-game currency. That, that's, that's the other thing, too. Lethal had a really great point. Keep shit in your inbox. Don't just be pulling everything out just to have it sitting around in your base. Um, the raid system right now, as is, is you cannot be raided for real by other players. But yet, that's yet. Everything in the uh, everything in this game right now is like subject to change, right? Because they're still figuring it out. Um, Alpha said, "When did you guys start playing?" Um, I started playing this initially, like, a year ago, I believe, um, but I didn't, like, I, I loved it, but I, I realized that it's, it's a game that, like, it takes, it, it, it's a, I don't want to say it's a grind because it's not, it's a fun grind, it's a good grind, but I wanted the sponsorship. Me, personally, and, and I was already, what is that? I have two things playing. I do. I had two. How long was that playing? I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry for that. Golly. Um, I'm all about sponsorships and creating a online resume of working for companies. So for me, I didn't want to invest time into the game until I figured out if, if I could work something out with the developers. Um, so I started taking this game seriously about six months ago. He said for minutes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, buddy. I apologize for that, damn it. Damn it. Um, so this is my kitchen. I, I went bloody red. Um, this is from the Christmas pack here, the fireplace. Uh, he said, I thought it was your style. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, okay, we're going outside. I, I want to show you my garden. This is my garden. I know, it's not impressive. Everything I grow dies, but we'll talk about that later. Let me check my bag here. All right, so... Sorry, to touch base on like what Alpha was asking about like when you started playing and maybe like why you started playing, I feel like honestly it's like one of those things that we get all in and it's like a take your time kind of game because there's no like rush to timeline, there's not like a timer where we're gonna like run out of time to do certain things, we're not right.
I agree. Yeah. And, and, and also, guys, they have an auto system. The most amazing thing ever. And I, I'm going to explain that to you. Um, this is a game that, and, and this is rare. This is rare because in zombie survival games, they try to make it so that uh, you, you die 24 7. Right? Um, and, and, and they want to make you grind forever. Um, in this game, they have an auto farm. So I'm at work. And I'm a chef, okay? So it's, it's not like I can just be on my phone. I cannot, okay? But I gear myself up. I'll put... Uh, oh, I'm going to wear the Jack the Ripper set, guys. All right, we're going Jack the Ripper set. The auto farm is really nice. I will gear up, make sure I'm wearing full durability gear. I'll get a, like two or three weapons, like I'm about to do now, okay? And I will... Uh, go to the go to the part of the map that I want to farm in. Make sure I have axes, whatever I need, um, and then I will just hit auto. And I'll be at work cooking, and my guys just running around the zone, picking up resources, killing zombies, getting experience, all that. It's so much. It's so easy, and it's so fun. Yeah, Lethal saying you know she does it while she's doing laundry. Like it's it's awesome awesome it's, it's such a it's such a great system all right so i just gotta get um some food and drink which my throat is so dry right now i, I probably could cough up dust i don't know why but it's so dry um if i stop talking soon guys it's because it feels like my throat is gonna crack like the desert floor all right so we got special rations i don't even know what that is but we're gonna take it we got some first aid kits uh some sandwiches and drinks um and some water and yeah oh shit we need a backpack come on guys you gotta remind me to get the backpack Yeah, the, yeah, food and water is very, very important. It is so damn essential. Uh, we're not even going to get the biggest backpack. We're just going to take a backpack. So many times I've died just because of um, water. Yeah, food and water is just, Which man. Which you can also gather naturally out and about. Uh, so so you, get a, you get a pocket. So in the pocket, we're going to put our, our cheeseburgers here, guys. And... That's not a... Well, okay. We're not wearing the backpack. Okay. In your food and water, you can do, like, um... Remember, you get your food and water. Yep. You guys... You, you, you guys can, um... Uh, get free stuff every day. Let me see. Where is it at? So, if you go to the store page, right here, standard, uh, Stranded Box, anything can be inside. You won't know until it's opened. It's a mysterious secret box, and uh, you get it for free. And then you can watch ads here, guys. You can watch ads, and you'll also get more free stuff. All right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do that a bunch of times a day. I think you do. Uh, I do want to show you the rest of my base here, though. All right, so, so uh, here's my sad garden. All right. That's my sad garden. But it, it gets cooler, it gets cooler. Um, if you guys ever been to Cracker Barrel, it's something in the US. Uh, I kind of made my own little outside of Cracker Barrel here. I got the fireplace and it, it looks like a Western. My house, I, I like the wood look. So um, the cool thing about my house is that I have a river that literally runs, it's almost like a dock. And it runs straight through my house. All right. And this is the other side here, right? See the river, it runs right under my house. All right, and then if I come back here to Cracker Barrel and I go around this side. So I put a bunch of armor stands on the front of my base. And uh, these are all, well, not all of them, but these are most of the different, um, armor sets in the game here 
So I've got the red, um, looks like the Brotherhood from Fallout here. I've got the Gingerbread Man. I've got the Jack the Ripper, and uh, which I'm wearing right now. And then if you come around this way, back this way, my garden here. I got the Christmas tree also from the Christmas pack. And then I've got two uh, cooking areas here. And this comes back up here. Yeah, man, we, we, we got it going on over here. We got it going on. You can even learn, like, hidden recipes. That's fun. I didn't know that they had that until I started actually living. Uh, Alpha said, question, is there special events they are that are hordes of zombies trying to break in your base? Uh, yeah, like, when I got that indication as soon as I went to my base and he asked me if I wanted to do a raid, um, that's what that is. So you can start what's called a raid and you'll go to a base and tons of zombies and different groups from the island like tribes and, and, and terrorists and shit will come and try and kill you. Um, also zombies, so it, it, it is, it's hordes. Ah, uh, damn, I was thirsty. Thank you. Holy shit. Okay, let's see. Abandoned Crocodile Shop, Smuggler's Cove. Let's do, can we, you guys want to do the Raiders Camp? Let's just go to the Raiders Camp. Yeah, if that's what you want to see, Alpha, that's what you're going to see. Okay, I'm probably going to die. I'm def matter of fact, I'm, I'm most definitely gonna die. But I just wanna, sh I wanna show you. I wanna show you. I wanna show you. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you. All right. So these are my favorite weapons. I don't really wanna use these because I feel like maybe because it's my my luck. I feel like they're gonna take the tactical blasters out of the game because they're just so good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm I'm gonna take some out just so I can show you. They're so good. And then. We're, we're gonna need some firepower, my friend, okay? We're gonna need some legendary pickaxes to break shit. We probably won't even take much because I just wanna show you. We're going inside the Raiders camp. All right, so what the deal is, is that you have to work out some type of deal with these guys because these are Raiders. These guys are serious like mercenaries and so They'll give you the location of a base that you can raid that's got really good gear and shit in it. Um, your base could have pretty much anything in it. And uh, again, you're going to have hordes of zombies and, and pirates and shit coming at you, terrorists and, tr and all types of things coming at you um, that you're going to have to try and kill while you're trying to break into this person's base and steal all their shit. Now, these guys will give you the coordinates to the location of the base, but you have to bring them back some of the loot. And if they're not happy, who knows? Who knows what they'll do to you? Um, this is, uh, what's the guy, uh, Jimmy Fork in the Eye or some shit? We're gonna talk to him. All right, Johnny Fork in the Eye. He says, hey, uh, buddy, you ready to do some raiding and restore justice to take loot from the AGI? And I'm gonna say, uh, because Alpha told me to, yeah, sure, I wanna die. And he says, uh, if you accept the offer, the coordinates of the shelter may become known to potential robbers, but uh, can a visit from some marauder scare a real pro like you? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, sounds like fun. What's the idea? Alright, the AGR hunts us as we are just a bunch of wild animals. So, you remember when I said the pirates and, and the terrorists or whatever? The different organizations that are on the island? That's what the AGR is. The, or, I'm sorry, the ARG. The ARG, uh, they're a huge like syndicate and they're everywhere all over the island. Alright, so, uh, he's saying um, it would be great to distract them a bit. Uh, to rob the ARG's cache, for example. Our balls are not big enough to pull a trick like that. However, we know one brave man who actually can do it. Will you share the loot with us? So, yeah, we're going to say yes. Uh, and then he's going to give us the coordinates. So now, 
so so what it is now is that um you have to do these missions here and once you do these missions if you can f complete them um he'll give you the coordinates now you can do the missions or you can use c to skip them so we're going to skip through here so that way we can hurry up and get to this base here all right so now we talk to him again i realized i can count on you at first glance a bargain is a bargain here's the coordinates all right we're counting on you returning with some good loot big guy don't forget to take with you more axes and pickaxes all right yeah so we got the axes and uh if you guys want to see the rest the rest of the um the raider camp real quick what's going on oh we got a lag or something horrible lag i apologize i don't know what's going on um i'm gonna open the game again because i don't know what's going on yeah yeah i'm excited actually My apologies, my friends. Okay. So now... Where is it at? No. That's the AR... That's the AG... What? So I knew it was the AGR. So it says AGR all over the map here but just a second ago correct me if i'm wrong i said arg i swear i was like am i going crazy i think that's a typo we're gonna have to tell him all right so huh uh let's see let's see. where is it oh there it is it's right here in front of my face you guys are gonna need to start checking me on this shit. Okay, so when when you that's true, when you click when you click on the uh, AGR's cachet here, it shows you some of the possible stuff that you can get. Now remember, I told you there's really good weapons and stuff like that, but I think you you really want to get these items here because these are all new. They've been added to the game recently. They're really good. Uh, this is what I'm going for if I'm going to raid these bases. This is what I'm going for So these are new weapons a two-handed axe. These are blueprints so that you can make them yourself At the base so you so you're gonna collect uh, Weapon and armor pieces and stuff once you have the blueprint you can make it yourself Here we go guys I'm nervous I have died a million times. Alright, we're gonna make Ranger happy. We're gonna make Lethal happy. And we're gonna die. Alright. Alpha. Shut it. <laughs> Alright. Knock, knock. Who's home? Here's Johnny. Alright, we're in, guys. We're in. There's a lot of doors here. I don't even know which way to go. Alright, let's go this way. So we're just gonna we're uh, all right. So you see that bar right there? All right. So that's the 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 more you, I think the more damage you do to the base or something like that, um, the more that bar goes up, and the more the bar goes up, that's the danger meter. Um, that's that means the zombies are gonna start coming, and the, I think the closer that bar gets to red, 
the more zombies and shit are coming. So, you're gonna be screwed, like, once that meter gets to a certain point. And, they go, no, I'm gonna be stuck regardless. They, they come faster and faster, let me tell you. So you really, really gotta be, oh shit, there's one right there, okay. Come on in here. Come on in here. Yeah, come get some of this. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we slicing dice his ass. We put him in the blender. All right, so it doesn't look like anything special. We will take the water. Huh? Batter up. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's in this chest here. Uh, damn. That pickaxe is broke, broke. Alright, we'll take we'll take some of this stuff. I said I wasn't gonna take anything, but Cause you really oh we got a blueprint yo we got the fire sword blueprint on the first raid let's go let's go oh bro we got it on the first raid you guys are good luck straight up you guys are good luck good luck chuck first raid we got the fire sword and that's the one i really wanted that's the one i really wanted Wait, I want you guys to see what this guy looks like, because he's, he's a little creepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Dude, we got the Fire Sword Blueprint. I'm glad you got... Hey, uh, Alpha, I owe you because you talked me into this. So now I'm telling you, I said it now I need to get on. <laughs> guys it'd be like five six of us out doing pvp killing other players and here comes lethal on her own by herself just swinging around a fire axe in her own little world la -di -da -di -da. and we're like what are you doing and like everybody hated the the fire axe like the serious pvp players because it just really wasn't a great weapon um yeah, in in tank. comparison but to other likes, weapons being a tank. yeah that's true But nobody wanted these fire axes, so I would get them on a bargain deal all the time and like have tons of them to give to Lethal and just made her so happy. So she's excited about this new fire axe. Er, yeah, I can't wait to around See? <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. <laughs> Damn, the durability on this frick- Wait, is that really the durability? Dude, the durability on these, the buzzy, f amazing. It's amazing. Called the buzzy? It's like- Oh shit, we're getting, we're getting killed. No, we're getting killed. No! No! Why? Why? Okay, so can you go back or no? No, we're just gonna reanimate. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna reanimate. Oh shit! Look at that. I do believe in second chances. 
All right, so now we're gonna take out the. Um, that is so funny. We use the tactical He's blaster. <laughs> he said all the loot. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go, guys. Dude, I wonder if I do break this wall here, can I shoot the zombies through the wall as they're coming? All right, so we've officially reached orange status, which uh, obviously red is, is, is next. So they're about to start coming like crazy. Um, let's see, graphics, general, language, music, sound. We're gonna turn the sound up. you guys to hear this creepy shit. Oh, we got another buzzy. Alright, 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 not bad. I know they're gonna start coming soon. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> Dude, I'm not ready for this. All right, so we haven't found a good chest yet, guys. Um, there, there's gonna be some good. Well, we did. We got the blueprint. But outside of the, oh, we're we're about to hit red. These these are the good chests. So you guys saw my chest in my base. These are the big ones. These are what we're looking for here, guys. So. Hopefully, there's a jackpot in here. So, uh, for uh, like a new player, how many axes or pickaxes do you think would be needed? Something like this. So, if a new player was wondering how many pickaxes or axes you would need in order to get through the base in order to get everything that would entirely depend upon what type of pickaxes you're using now in order to do a raid i know you need like i think a a, a minimum of a level three pickaxe um this is a horrible time to be trying to look at this right now but uh so your first type of pickaxe is going to be a level one pickaxe which is a stone pickaxe, you can't use that. Um, your level two pickaxe, the minor pickaxe, you can't use that. Um, I, I don't even think you can use a level three pickaxe. I think the only pickaxes you can use are uh, the purple ones, which are the steel pickaxe, or the one that I'm currently using right now, which is the legendary titanium pickaxe. Now each type of pickaxe and or axe has a uh its own durability level so now if you're using the purple pickaxe uh which i believe is tier four um your uh the durability is going to be lower than the legendary titanium one that i'm using now you can see that this i believe was a brand new pickaxe i took out of my inbox um, so I've already got through I'd say a quarter of the base maybe not even and it's already 20% loss on durability maybe so I would say you're gonna need at least at least one legendary if not two of the level four pickaxes or hatchets to get the job done and uh, that's 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 being generous uh, so you, you might want more than what I've just told you about uh, but yeah but I would say that if you, if you get your hands on one of these legendaries, you're, you're good to go. What, all right, so we got 
We got some more weapons and armor here, but that's not what we're looking for, guys. Uh, this is not what we're looking for. Th there's better loot here somewhere. We just gotta find it. Well, these chests are... Now, <clears throat> uh, guys, this is sponsored content. So for me, um, you guys would be looking for this stuff. If you guys are... Uh, if, 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 trust me, you guys would want this gear. This gear is, is very good. The only reason I'm not picking it up is because I've done so much already in this game that my boxes are very full. Very, very full. Um, I'm only looking for certain things right now. Uh, also, don't forget, if you guys are new to this game, you're going to want to follow the, 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 the main missions, the main quests, and you're going to want to do that until you get to Jill Sparrow. Now, Jill Sparrow, which again, I told you they make a lot of movie and show references, is Jill Sparrow is supposed to be like Jack Sparrow, because Jill Sparrow lives on a boat, um, and she kind of dresses, I wouldn't say she even dresses like Jack Sparrow, but it, you can see, there's, there's, resem there's, there's resemblances, like the, it resembles, in a way, uh, Jack Sparrow, um, and she's always trying to get drunk on rum and shit. She's always sending you off on missions to go try and find her room uh, on different parts of the island. Now, the reason I bring that up is because she does have amazing rewards. Um, if you go and do enough missions for her, you'll get what she uses as currency. Um, and then with that said, uh, you can take that currency and trade it as one of the machines on her ship. And uh, they have, she has amazing deals on items that you might not be able to get anywhere else but on her ship. Uh, gonna ask a lot of questions, try to make chat live. Is there a limit of how many raids you can do a day? You know what, my friend? That's a very good question. I do believe I've done more than a few raids in a day. Uh, it, it might be endless, I'm not sure. But thank you very much for asking that question because I will have to um, look into that and, and see. Uh, why? Where are the zombies? Are they on strike right now? I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I was scared at first. Why? Where are they? I feel like this is like the calm before the storm. They're about to come by the boatloads here in a second. I got my tactical blaster ready, dude. I'm about ready to put in work on these guys. It's weird. No, I, I swear, I did this before, like four times. And this was not how it was. Like they came screaming, running, sprinting at me. This is strange. I don't like it. I don't trust it. Something bad's about to happen. Got here. wondering uh you know if you guys were me and you were a serious grinder and serious about the game what are some things that you would leave and what are some things that you would take um you're gonna look for these you're gonna be looking for these these uh steel bars you're gonna be looking for um iron bars because even at my level all of these are important uh copper bars nails these are all very important things and then I'm taking these, um, uh, a real treasure, can, uh, can you can smell an ingot from it or sell it to Jill Sparrow. So I took these because it has a double use. 
I can either smelt it down into bur into bars, or I can sell it to Jill Sparrow because she wants it, so I can do that for currency. Uh, he said probably leave behind the what items? But yeah, the common items, correct, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, maybe I can break straight through this wall lead into two rooms. We got gun racks. Yeah, all you yeah, you you would definitely would not pick up any regular items. Yeah. It's just not worth it to, to pick axes. Oh yeah. Yeah. You get a four wheel but you have to go search for all the pieces and once you find all the pieces you can construct your four-wheeler and your four-wheeler has a storage so when you're out uh, you can drive your four-wheeler to different locations and then your four-wheeler has storage you can put stuff in it and upgrade it pretty dope i love all the furniture in the game though i think the furniture and the, and the, and the different uh outfits and shit are dope This is weird, dude. Maybe they're all afraid of me. We're gonna go with that. Wait, did we get the premium? We didn't even unlock the pass. I forgot to unlock the pass. Okay guys, we officially have the pass. I'm a noob, I know. Alright guys, so we have the pass and we are going to start um, doing this. So guys, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know what time zone you guys are, but I'm going to start getting up early in the morning. I know, look, I, I want to give you guys Dead Godland content in the evening for me being a scary movies buff and just a, 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 a lover of all things horror i would like to do these in the p.m eastern standard time but i can't do that um this is a rare occasion because when i get out of work uh it's usually between 3 and 4 p.m when i do that that leaves me only a few hours to do all of the things behind the scenes that i need to do including uh shit shave shower and uh everything else eat and all these other things so by the time i do those things it's time to do a godfather live stream after that i have to start taking seriously war elite uh that's going to be a major part of my thing so now it's going to be just a double godfather war elite almost every day okay um so if you guys want to catch the dead godland content live streams they're gonna be in the morning early in the morning because that's the only way I can fit it into my my live stream daily schedule, okay? So, if you guys are uh, Eastern Standard Time, you guys can catch me uh, at approximately 5.36 in the morning. Um, so, maybe if you guys are up early on your way to work, you can listen to it. Uh, and or it'll be there for you guys whenever you wake up and find it. Um, but, you can see all uh, of my content. Uh, Godfather content, uh, War Elite content, uh, Wild Terror content, uh, all of it, all of my content, Dead Godland content, all of it, you guys can catch it all at my official ACG Discord, it's right there in the live stream link, check it out, uh, subscribe, um, so now that we've unlocked the pass guys, every morning, between 5.30 and 6am guys, I'm going to be doing this, you guys can catch me working the battle pass, we have 15, uh, technically 16 days left to complete this battle pass and get all of the rewards to unlock all of this i'm not gonna cheat guys i'm not gonna cheat i'm gonna try and unlock as much as i can with you guys you guys can see me try and work these levels out and uh see this so i believe it was a hundred levels on battle pass season five this is battle pass season six um and they've they've um, dropped it to 60 levels but they've added a lot of new stuff so um it's it's good compensation 
I'm not an early bird, but when I watch my... Hey, I appreciate you, Alpha. No problem, my brother. Um, Alpha, before I go, I just want to, again, thank you very much. Um, and, and thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, until next time, guys.